Hello, and welcome to the candidate interviews for the City of Humble Mayor. This candidate interview event is a project of the Public Affairs Committee for the Partnership Lake Houston. Today's interviews are being produced by DNA Studios. I'm Terry Vaughn, Public Affairs Chair of Partnership Lake Houston, and I'll be your host today. Before we begin, I'd like to remind everyone of voting dates, times, and locations. Early voting dates and times are April 24th through April 29th from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. April 30th from 12 noon to 7 p.m. May 1st and 2nd from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And Election Day is on Saturday, May 6th from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Polling locations can be found at harrisvotes.com. Joining us now is candidate Norman Funderburg, who is running for City of Humble Mayor. Welcome and thank you for joining us for the candidate interview today. Thank you, Terry. So Norman, tell us, what prompted your decision to run for mayor this term? Actually, it was a, a pretty easy decision um, as the incumbent and uh, just finishing up my first term as mayor. Uh, There's no way I was going to be a one and done mayor. Uh, we've accomplished quite a bit during this first term, my, my first two years, and uh, I like the way that we're headed. Uh, you know, I'm pretty pleased with uh, what we've accomplished so far. We're addressing infrastructure needs, uh, addressing flooding and flooding mitigation and uh, drainage concerns, and we're also heavily reinvesting in our core services, uh, fire department, police department, uh, EMS, all those things that involve public safety. So uh, I like the momentum right now. Uh, you know, I want to continue uh, just getting things done. Uh, that's where I get my fulfillment. And so, uh, yes, I, it was an easy decision to sign up for re-election, and I'll continue to serve as, as long as the voters will have me. All right. Well, describe what you see as the most urgent issue facing the city of Humble, and if elected, how you can affect the outcome. Well, I wouldn't necessarily... Uh, point to any issues that are quite so urgent, but uh, we do have challenges. You know, we we have a census of 16,000, but uh, we all know that we have to act and operate like a city of 150 to 200,000. So, uh, yes, we're stretched. So we always need to be in a position where we're going to be able to reinvest in our core services and public safety. It's uh, imperative. Um, We've also got to continue to plan for the future growth. Just as example, right now there are three residential developments that uh, are either already underway or in the planning stages. So ultimately within the next five years, that's going to add 800 homes to our community. So potentially 2,000 people. Uh, so we've got to plan for that as well uh, to be able to uh, you know, provide services to those new residents. And then another challenge that's uh, out there looming is uh, with our uh, red light camera contract expiring next year. Well, uh, once that revenue stream is, uh, has ended, uh, you know, we'll have to absorb those costs for our traffic department. You know, we have six traffic officers plus a sergeant. And uh, so those costs uh, will have to be absorbed by, uh, through our, our general fund revenue. Uh, that we operate out of. So, you know, what I will do and what we will do, our team is just like we do every year, you know, uh, and this is the part of uh, being the mayor that I truly enjoy. Uh, when we start that process of uh, planning for the uh, next fiscal year's budget, you know, we sit down and the CFO is heavily involved with the city manager and myself and, uh, you know, we have revenue projections. We look at uh, what we think we're going to have available. And then we uh, go through and meet with the department heads and assess the needs. Uh, council has input, certainly, to what those needs are. And uh, ultimately, we, we make it work. You know, it's a very robust process. And uh, each year that I've been involved, uh, I've been very pleased at the outcome, feeling like uh, we are truly addressing the needs of the city in a sustainable way, and uh, also in doing that, being uh, very responsible stewards of the taxpayers' money and protecting our, uh, our general fund and our reserve. Okay. 
So what do you feel the city's role is in economic development? Well, it's important that the city be involved. Uh, we have an important role to play there, and we are involved. We are actively engaged. Uh, I would actually call it a, a very collaborative effort with Partnership Lake Houston. Our city manager serves as uh, chair to the executive committee, so uh, he's able to provide guidance and direction. And with myself as mayor, I meet regularly with the uh, chief economic development officer, uh, she's able to provide me updates on what discussions are being had, uh, what's in the pipeline, and, and in turn, you know, I'm able to provide my perspective, our perspective, on what the needs of the city are, and uh, also provide feedback on that effort. So, uh, again, it's really important because for what remaining raw, undeveloped land and opportunities that there are for developers, uh, it's just very important for us to feel like we're attracting the right kind of businesses, uh, businesses that, that add value, job creators. Uh, those are going to contribute to the com community in the right way. Uh, so we have to uh, consider a lot of things. Uh, if there are incentives that we want to consider, we have to be smart about that, certainly. And then uh, beyond that, you know, we also recognize it's uh, important that we as a city protect our businesses and serve them th through the permit processes and, and everything else, making sure that uh, uh, they feel like they're supported and there's nothing about our processes that are too onerous. We want to make sure that things are done right and that the codes uh, are followed, but uh, again, supporting them so that they can be successful, because that's what we want. Thank you. What business experience and skills, prior board experience, leadership skills, and your community involvement will be an asset to you if elected? Well, there's a wealth of experience that I bring. Uh, in my background, 42 years uh, in the engineering and construction industry, uh, 30 years spent with Coke, uh, Coke Specialty Plant Services. Uh, I retired in 2016 as vice president. Then beyond that, uh, service in the community, uh, 15 years spent serving on the uh, Northeast Hospital Board of Authority, where I served as vice president, investment officer. I chaired the quality committee, uh, but also served as president of the Northeast Hospital Foundation. And then uh, the uh, public service, my time as an elected official, uh, elected council in 2014, serving four terms, uh, on council four years as uh, Mayor Pro Tem to uh, Mayor Aaron, and then uh, elected as mayor in 2021. So uh, with that experience, uh, just many years of managing business to safe and profitable outcomes, uh, preparation and uh, management oversight of budgets, uh, administering contracts, uh, managing projects, managing personnel, uh, just proven experience. And we know that experience matters. Yes, sir. Well, Norman, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Thank you, Terry.